uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will be solving this interesting interview question okay so we can see that there are uh, three mosfets right or on resistance okay and we have to find the current through the resistance okay so what is the current flowing through this resistance okay so uh, how we can uh, solve this problem so we can see this is a 5 volt supply right vdd okay and there are uh, m1 m2 and m3 mosfet and they are all n mosfets right so uh, first question is uh, how to solve this okay so basically we can see this is not a small signal model right like the small signal small small signal is not required for this particular problem right so we can see that this is our these are the bias bias voltage or large signal voltage we can say okay but there is a difference between large signal or bias things okay so basically we have to solve in this uh, problem by biasing conditions okay so we can see there are all n mos so at steady state like uh, so, so to, to find the current through this uh, resistance we need the voltage at this node right let's say v uh, vs3 okay like the uh, source of m3 right so we need this vs3 voltage then to find the current then it will be nothing but vs3 minus 0 volt because this is grounded okay divided by r okay so this will be our uh, like the required uh, required thing right but to find this voltage this is not so easy right so how we can uh, solve this so basically we can see that at like at bias condition this node voltage like if the mosfet is on so the vgs must be greater than the vtn right so we can see that here vd and vs like all of three is diode connected okay so this five voltage comes here right so here for this m1 mosfet m1 mosfet vg1 is nothing but five volt right so what will be the voltage at this node let's say vs1 so this voltage cannot be more than four voltage right because if the uh, like if the voltage at vs1 like the voltage vs1 is more than let's say 4.1 volt then this mosfet goes off right so this cannot be possible so maximum the vs1 uh, can be 4 volt okay and it will be at steady state the node voltage at this like the potential at this node will reach to 4 volt okay okay so and and you can think as a pass transistor logic as well okay so this full 5 volt is not come here okay as we know that the NMOS is a very bad pass of high logic okay so this is a high logic we are, all know that so now at steady state this voltage goes to 4 volt now what about this voltage let's say vs2 so this voltage will go to 3 voltage right because there need to be a on threshold difference okay from this gate to source okay now if this voltage is 3 volt now what will be the voltage at this node so vs3 will be nothing but 2 volt okay so this is how easily we can compute the potential at this node and this will all happen at steady state okay and all the MOSFET uh, is turned on okay so this is at steady state a steady state and all MOS are on okay all MOS is on okay so so if that happens this node voltage vs3 becomes 2 voltage now what will be the current so this current is nothing but this 2 voltage minus this 2 kilo ohm resistance right this r this r is 2 kilo ohm so this will be on milliamps current okay so this is a very simple question but you need to solve uh, like you, you need to figure out what will be the problem first okay like if we need small signal then we need to solve for small signal and if this is dc bias condition we need to solve for dc bias condition and this problem comes for dc bias conditions and this problem can be asked for your a, a, like analog and miss signal po position as well and for analog position as well okay so basically this potential is our interest like the node potential of interest right so that we can find the current through this 2 kilo ohm resistance okay and uh, so so uh, so i was telling about the steady state that means uh, we all know that uh, every node there is a parasitic capacitance like that right so at steady state that to charge this capacitor it will take some time okay so that i was telling at steady state okay so so uh, so this is uh, this is for uh, for this uh, session okay
so thank you everyone you can put your valuable feedbacks thank you